Alright guys, so really quick, the audio on this video is a little bit off because I actually had to totally change my setup. I had to like move it around. That's actually also the reason why this video is going to be coming a little bit late. So I didn't want to say super sorry about that and super sorry about the slightly weird audio. You guys can still totally make out what I'm saying and all that type of jazz, but I already did fix it as you guys can tell. But of course, I didn't notice it until after recording the Crim Soul Survivals video. So I hope that you guys understand. I still hope that you guys enjoyed it, but Jesus out of this video and and, uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys a little bit heads up that no, I haven't suddenly become some sort of a demon. Just my mic got messed up because I had to, like, move everything around. I talk about that a little bit more in the video why I had to move stuff around. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the episode of Last Day, not Last Day, Grim Soul Survival. Today, we return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and today it is time for our triumphant return to Grim Soul. Sorry that it's been a while. I wanted to get this video out the other day, but I actually ended up doing a Fortnite stream because uh, my phone was charging and my phone is really bad in terms of charging for whatever reason. I think I need to get a new charger or something. And by the end of the stream, my phone still wasn't charged. So I was not able to get a Grim Soul survival video out for you guys yesterday. I'm so sorry regarding that, but today we are back again. Sorry, I gotta be a bit on the quiet side. Y'all, no, 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 that was bad. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta be a little bit on the quiet side, but you guys know how I'm trying to be a lot more quieter in videos, and you guys even heard me be a lot more quiet in videos. Well, uh, turns out that I'm still too loud, and I'm still getting noise complaints, so I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna go, but wish me luck, boys. I need all the finger crosses in the freaking world, but shenanigans aside, we're back in Grim Soul, so let's try and have as fun of a time as possible. If you guys recall, just last episode, we were in the middle of doing this quest, this series of quests that are very important for the Grim Soul universe, because what this series of quests does is it grafts us extra crafting points. So, let's try and do this, continue how it goes. We actually just went out on a long really that long but we did go out on a little bit of adventure just got to go and grab the wood that we gathered that i actually think i went ahead and put away here and craft ourselves up three more peasant chests which we should then be able to utilize for any of our storage store store storage needs so there we go that'll be three peasant chests and that will be one schmack dabbing new quest dunzo yeah, another thing that we gotta try and focus on, I think, is try and get as many levels as possible, because at the moment, we don't really have anything too crazy in terms of levels. You guys can see, once we hit level 11, we do unlock some more stuff, so I think that's the goal, but I would also love to actually start building the stable today. Now, do we have the necessary copper for such a task? Actually... We do, we got eight of the copper ingots, which is awesome because that's that was kind of a big point. We also gotta get some pine planks, so a carpenter's bench is going to be another big ticket item we gotta try and knock out because I don't think we have any of those. So let's try and do a little bit of multiple birds, one stone type of dealio. Uh, I think we should just be able to cop this copper or, ah, see what I did there? I'm funny, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and toss these puppies over here. We'll toss that one against that wall, and we probably do need to do a little bit more base expansion, hopefully without freaking whatchamacall coming to try and poop all over us, because that would be absolutely awful. But with all said and done, why don't we try and get a little bit of food, a little bit of nutrition over here into our belly. Apparently the leeks are actually really good if we cook them, so I don't want to eat those right away. I actually want to go and get this. Ooh. Looks like there's a damned coming our way. All right, Mr. Damned. I see you. I see you, fam. All right, well, listen, I got this little thing right here that's going to be healing me throughout our fight, so uh, I'm more than down to do the poo-poo on you. And that's actually what I love about this game is that there's that second type of healing item that actually allows you to heal over time because that's actually a pretty big deal because, of, like, what that just does, look, we just got ourselves into a fight after using that barrel of honey and check it out. We're still more than good to go. Like, like, dude, this is pretty sick. You gotta admit, full health, and we're gonna go. All right, we gotta stop getting sidetracked, though. Uh, do we have any extra leftover wood? We have a little bit. Why don't we see what the next quest is before we decide to sink this in? Because maybe one of the next quests will be, like, telling us to craft a woodworking bench. Maybe even start crafting the stable. I think the stable currently, though, might be bottlenecked by an item kind of like the chopper 
in a whatchamacall, in last day on Earth, not the chopper, the uh, chopper gas tank. But I don't think the, the Grim Soul survival version of the chopper gas tank is in the game yet. That's something I'm going to have to go and find out. So uh, wish us luck. Hopefully that'll end up in our favor. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bird. Ooh. What is the most abundant and essential material for crafting and constructions? Without wood, you can't light a fire. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my Apparently, my phone just ran out of memory. So that's just freaking great. But uh, what was I saying? What point were we on? I believe we were doing something along the lines of Ova uh, and reading up on this quest before we got interrupted. Without wood, you can't light a fire and cook food. You must have a stockpile of pine logs. So you always have wood at hand. Well, well, well. Looks like la, 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 la. I can't English. Looks like that is going to be the big goal for today to try and knock that out. But while we are gone, I'm hoping that we can actually... Oh, we need two more wood. Are you serious, bro? No. Don't tell me I need two more wood. We have to have some wood lying around here, right? I don't think we do. Wow. All right. Well, I guess we're, we are going to have to go out and uh, adventure. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> there is a tree. That is the tree. Is that the last tree? I don't want to chop down the trees, man. They're all decorative and stuff. Aww. Aww, it pains me to do this, but I do think that we are gonna have to do this. Uh, I think we have to try and craft up a stone axe first. Also, ooh, stay, stay away, stay away, Nightcus. No, 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 no. Hello, hello. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Ah! How long is it nighttime? Why is he still coming after me, dude? <sighs> you gotta stay away, man. That's not fair. I was about to say, like, we should probably get inside before he shows up. What do you know? Mr. Night Guest himself is showing up to say hello. Alright, but let's try and craft up one of these stone axes. Should be able to utilize that already. Even after we use one, it should give us more return on our investment than we were expecting. So, unfortunately, we will need to say goodbye to a couple of the trees by our base, but that's okay. You know, these trees, we could say that we were gonna tear these down anyway for uh, uh, renovation purposes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's totally it, my dude. <laughs> uh, did we put anything down here yet? Uh, we did, ooh, it's another chest. Totally forgot about that. We got some solid storage going on, TDH, but all right, let's get back on topic here. Uh, we should have 16, which should be more than enough here to begin the process of the carpenter's bench. All right, our inventory. Well, actually, before we start building the carpenter's bench, is there any chance we maybe have some pine planks chilling in one of these chests? Uh, obviously not this one. We just put these two down, I think. But any chance one of these might have? No, 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 no. Not today. Okay. This is okay. We'll have to survive with what we can, so... <clears throat> we gotta try and make some inventory room, too. Why don't we toss a couple of things over here? Just kind of free up a little bit of slots, and then let's begin the big thing. The first workbench of Grim Soul for us, which is a pretty big accomplishment if you ask me, but I, I don't think anyone's asking me, so let's get to crafting away on the Carpenter's Bench. And I really hope you guys are enjoying Grim Soul. I freaking love this game just because it is so new, and I love just kind of going through the steps again of early game and discovering more of this game as we go, and I can't wait until the updates. Oh, when the updates start to roll in. That is going to be a great time, so if you guys are excited, just like I am, make sure that like button, uh, because, uh, and let me know in that comment section, to know that y'all want to keep having the grim to the souls. But alright, we got the wood working bench, we got a couple of extra wood here, so why don't we do that little expansion I was talking about, why don't we, uh, never mind, there's obstacles here. Obstacles? Is it this thing? You can survive here, and more. Okay, was, was that the entire obstacle? Just Mr. Spooky, spooky sign over there? Probably was. All right, well, let's go and get a couple of these, and we will start expanding our base a little bit to kind of encompass more, so that's going to be good. Uh, let's get this puppy, put that up against the wall, and that should be good, and then we don't have any wood to start processing. Didn't think that through. Ooh, we don't have any wood to craft more stone axes either. I just realized we have finessed ourselves. Hmm. 
Well, I think it is time for us to go out on that adventure of wood gathering. So what we gotta do is put away some stuff, uh, probably bring some band-aids and healing items. So we'll make sure to bring those over, uh, put away some of these things and begin the process. Oh, we gotta trust the process. I feel like Joel Embiid right now, but we gotta trust it. That's exactly what we're gonna try and start to do today. The province map. Oh, I really hope that there's a lot of wood in our future because if there isn't, I'm gonna be a little bit bummed out because I need a lot of wood right now. I really do. Why do I like save wood so much? I don't know. Because I need it, dang it. I freaking need the wood. All right, so do we wanna to go to the pine thicket? That is a pretty solid wood resource. That is three. We could come across higher level damned. Why don't we go to the level one zone first? And then depending on how things go, maybe we loot a weapon from the chests, maybe some clothes because we're not too armored. Uh, hopefully this thing lasts us too. Same with, uh, same with the band-aids there. We're gonna have to try and be a little sneaky dicky here and try to take out those who oppose us in the pine thicket. Who opposes us? Bunch of dinguses, that's who. We're gonna have to teach him a lesson. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, and hopefully, because I did bring my stone, bless up, we did bring the stone. As soon as we start gathering some wood, uh, it should be like a chain reaction where we can just craft more stone axes. And if you guys haven't noticed yet, <laughs> there are a lot of trees, so I think we're gonna be more than fine. We just gotta worry about hopefully taking all these boys out. Oh, rip it to pieces. Don't rip me to pieces, I'm friendly. I'm a lot cooler in one piece, you know, I'm, I'm just wanting to put that out there. I'm a very cool dude, just have to get to know me and stuff. Leper, let's get you, but yeah, because of these noise complaints, I've actually had to like totally reorganize my room, because I think like maybe the wall that my desk was up against was like my neighbor's wall that was doing the noise complaints. I'm not 100% sure, because they wouldn't tell me which neighbor it was, which makes sense, because I mean, they don't want to out whoever it is, they're probably trying to keep it confidential that type of jazz but uh hopefully this little uh change up little little toss up will uh, help us out a little bit in terms of hopefully bringing down the noise complaints because uh well yeah we gotta make sure that doesn't happen no more <laughs> let's get those band-aids applied let's keep on dealing with these guys and then we should be able to put ourselves on that marvelous marvelous thing known as auto to the pilots and as soon as we deal with this leper as well hopefully we'll get some level ups from this hopefully you know what i want to see in one of the earlier updates one of the first updates even uh what would be absolutely amazing would be um whatchamacall hello leper oh no 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 okay Ooh. They're just everywhere. I Hold on. I got to 1v1 these guys first. So I want to get some separation here. Deal with the damned first. We don't have a lot of band-aids. So we're going to play it safe. Let's deal with the damned. We should be able to take them out in six hits with the sickle. Sickle has a lot of durability too. So that's good. Someone's watching us. Oh, that is... Uh, that's great news. <laughs> I love knowing that people are watching us. Uh, let's collect what we can though. Oh no, my guy's thirsty. Does this help us with thirst? Not as much as I would like. Luckily, though, over here in our storage, we should have a nice little supply of the flasks of agua. Let's get to sipping on that. And now that I think about it, we got a lot of barrels of honey as well. So let's gather both of those and we can actually utilize these barrels as healing items because this is a lot better than what we get in the last day, you know, and even Jurassic Survival. 80 health over time. It does take a little bit of time, but still, that is pretty sweet if you ask me. So, all right, let's start trying to get over here to the next people and making some progress on this chest hopefully i'm guessing we should be able to get a lot of wood if we can just um whatchamacall harvest like a lot of this location we should be able to get a lot of stuff which is going to be pretty encouraging pretty reinforcing news hello leper goodbye leper the voices want you dead yeah well uh, i wouldn't trust the voices i trust me because i want me alive and that means i'm staying alive big boy uh, how much health do we got left? Why don't we start sipping on the honey, and then- Ooh, it's a bear! That's a bear! Was not expecting a bear! Okay, good thing we had- Okay, you know what? The bear was probably extra mad that we just had that honey right before fighting him, too. <laughs> Dude, don't bears love honey? Or is it just Winnie the Pooh? I don't know. One of the two. Uh, let's also make sure that we're taking this opportunity to collect everything that we can, because we, we, we only have a limited amount of energy, so if we're traveling to places, I want to make the best use of that. Also, I think we're on update 1.0.3. What I think that this update did was, a, ooh, more honey, baby. But I think that they actually fixed that glitch that we were having just the other day. 
You guys know the one I'm talking about? When we last played, it was when uh, we went to the event and nothing, none of the chests respawned. I think that was actually fixed in this version, which is pretty good news. So hopefully that's awesome. And ah, I, can't just, I just can't wait. What, what do you guys personally think is going to be the first update that we witness in this game? I think personally, it might be kind of something like the healer slash the magical talking plant. A Jurassic Survival. I think that would make a ton of sense to implement because they get ad revenue from it for people watching ads. We get bonuses to like our damage, to our XP gathering, and all of the- Aw, oh, he caught me. All of those would honestly be super useful at the moment. And how big is this place? Holy hell, I was not- Oh, no, 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 no. How did you see me already? No, I gotta deal with this guy. Get out of here, damned. No, bad damned. Oh, you're gonna be doing some damage, aren't you, there, big guy? All right, why don't we get another barrel of honey up in our tummy, and then we can hopefully deal with these two lepers. This is gonna be a 2v1, though. And yeah, I do think that those seals on the ground that we see sometimes, those are actually, uh, they protect us from the night person, whoever that is. Like, maybe the night person's watching us right now, but they protect us from... Ooh, more notes to discover. More of the backstory. Go ahead, pause the video if you guys want read through these things and that would just be a ton of reading and listen as much as i would love to start my own audiobook series that ain't happening today so if you guys do want just rewind back pause the video learn a little bit about the backstory maybe if there's something super cool discovered in those notes go ahead and let me know as well if you want of course that is that is your call as i would say now then how do we want to do this today? Why don't we toss out a couple of those? Let's toss out the empty flasks and then, oh, we gotta deal with another leper. What is it? Why? Why are you so attracted to be leper? Go away. Shoo. Shoo, Mr. Leper. Shoo. I don't want you. No. No. I just want to keep, oh my god, another bear. All right. Well, as long as we can actually get this uh, sneak attack off on the bear, we should be able to do a solid amount of damage. Hopefully kill him before the leper comes and we're actually running really low on weapon durability. Now, this sickle served us well. I don't know how much longer it will be able to serve us, though, but we've almost entirely cleared out this area. As soon as that happens, we can hit that marvelous auto button, probably toss out a couple of things because of... Ay, 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 ay. These guys, man. Let me get some more honey up in my tummy. God, dude, I love that that rhymes. I, I just, I don't know why. I love the fact that honey and tummy rhyme because I love honey. IRL, and I love putting stuff in my tummy IRL too. It's a perfect kawinky dink, I know. All right, Mr. Leper, it's time for that 2v1. Ah, oh, this ain't gonna go our way, but at the very least, uh, they will fall. We shall triumph, and victory will hopefully be coming our way. Hopefully, uh, quicker rather than later, or something like that. I don't know, dude, one, one of the two. All right, hello, Mr. Leper. Enough running. I'm not running, dude. If anything, can't you just run after me? Are you, are you forced to walk? Because you're definitely, like, doing something over there, big guy. Uh, all right, we could try. I, I want to save the band-aids, though. Band-aids are good for fights because they, they heal you right away, whereas food will slowly heal you over time, which is honestly a little bit more useful. So why don't we try and get some of those berries up in our tummy as well? You know, mix it with the honey, maybe it'll have some good effect and uh, heal up a little bit up to 73. I'm scared about these guys. Uh, do I know how to craft the club? I do not. Well, we should be able to go to the torch at least, which is like a little bit more. It's okay, it's actually a lot slower than the sickle too, but it's something. And sometimes something is better than nothing. I don't even know if we have nothing, but a leper. Hello. Goodbye. Ooh, we got the level up too. Yes. That brings us back up to the full health that we were requiring. Um, and how to approach these guys. I don't know if the sickle's gonna be enough to take them out. So, uh, kind of that auto mode. And ready to toss the torch on! And set these dudes aflame. Sorry, my leper dudes, but the fire is searching for you. Set fire to the rain! Yeah, there's, there's a reason I'm not a, uh, a singing youtube channel as well i hopefully hopefully you guys take note of that <laughs> uh, why don't we try and get some of these berries though because these things are they're actually even more they're even better than uh berries in other games although apparently if we eat too many berries at once we can actually start throwing up so hopefully we can just keep on gathering some berries and see if we can actually get that to happen because i don't know that'd be kind of funny to throw up i think that's like the peeing of this game i wonder did that replace the peeing mechanic if you eat too much instead of drink too much 
maybe i mean that's something for us to see but let's do our final check here and see we might be all clear we might be good to go if we looted all this stuff uh, i thought i saw a third bag somewhere if not though it might be time to hit that auto collect button and hopefully walk out of here with a hell of a lot of wood and this will be a perfect gauge a perfect measure to potentially see a rough idea of how much wood we can get from each zone each time that we go so without further ado Let's begin the process, shall we? Well, I think we probably gotta manually start it, right? So we can just get the wood, and then we gotta do this nifty little trick that works across all of the Last Day on Earth type of games. You just gotta fill your inventory with only that, and now our dude will only be interested in auto-gathering that stuff, which should make our lives a hell of a lot easier as well. And as long as we keep track of this axe, we should be able to craft up another one relatively quickly, which will be nice as well, because we brought the stone stockpile for that, boys and girls. And honestly, like, there's some stones lying around here, so we'll be walking out of here, I think, with a full stack of stone. And like I'm saying, hopefully a lot of pine logs. We saw a lot of trees, so I really do think that there will be a lot of stuff awaiting us here in the future. But uh, that's will be for us to see in just a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what it is, dude. I feel like the green zones in this game are a lot bigger than other green zones. Like green zones in, uh, whatchamacall? Uh, da 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 da. I can't think of the name. Green zones in like Jurassic Survival and Last Day on Earth, they, they feel smaller to me. Maybe I'm crazy for that, but they genuinely do feel smaller than like the amount of traveling we had to do here. Also, I wouldn't mind starting to gather these berries either, my dude. So if you want to combine those two, and we just kind of do that, so it's it's on your radar, just so you kind of consider that. Pick up the wood as well, and hopefully you'll see some berry bushes, and uh, as soon as that thing breaks, though, we do have to be ready to hit that next button over here on the axe, and why don't we check up, okay, after we craft the next one, we'll actually go ahead and check up on our progress on this quest line as well, because uh, hopefully we can knock it out in just one green zone. That'd be amazing, amazing news for us, and amazing news for uh, not having to use more energy and go to other zones. <laughs> All right, let's get that next stone axe going, boys. Let's get that auto collect back on resume. And let's see, what did I want to do? Where are my quest lines? Ah, they are marvelous. All right, we're right around halfway there, and I'd say, I don't know. I think we're going to get pretty high up, but I do think that the yellow zone might be in our future as well. But there you can see us getting those limestones, like I was saying. Ah... I really hope we don't have to go to a yellow zone. Maybe we go to a green zone? Oh, hello. Oh, jump style. Hello, buddy. Fight with honor. Sure thing, dude. I'll fight you with all the honor. You just gotta promise to give me a weapon after I win. All right, buddy? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. This is not good. Come on, jump style. Ooh, float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. You got a weapon. Yes, sir. -y. Thank you, kind. <gasps> Torturer Dungeons map. Hold on. Let's read that. New location available. The location of the Torturer's Dungeon. You can now travel there. Dungeons have more valuable, unique, and rare items, you say. Well, hell. You had my interest. Now you have my attention. I think that's the way it goes. And some clothes! Welcome back to the Not But Naked Club. Oh, it feels good. Of uh, which one of these is the axe? I think it's honestly about to break. Not too interested in that. And so let's just keep on going on our collecting spree. Again, what we can. And uh, we'll take things from there, shall we? All right, we shall. Sounds like a great deal to me. Are uh, you going to keep collecting those berries up there, my dude? Because I'm probably going to start eating a couple of these. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, right there. Look at it. Look at it, boys. We about to throw up. We about to up chuck. Uh, well, without further ado, let's get a great view of uh, this. Oh, gnarly, dude. Oh, that's quick, at least. A lot quicker than spreading our vitamin P. Here we're spreading our uh, vitamin V, a little bit of vomit vitamins, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh man, that's awful, dude. Nah, it's amazing. Now we got multiple vitamins. It's a multivitamin. We gotta combine the vitamin P and the vitamin V into one. Where are you going to? Oh, that's why we actually, we gotta ditch some. We got to ditch something. Uh, I got a lot of cloth back at home, so why don't we go ahead and ditch that? And now let's go back. It's a no, 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 no. God dang it. That's not what I meant, my dude. All right, let's split that in half, and now let's go on that auto-collecting spree. Continue getting the berries. Uh, we probably got to eat two more, and that should totally restore us, because I think they do seven health per, which is even better, too. Like, it does take a little bit of time, but all things considered, it's amazing, because it happens, like, like well, 
yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but we get an extra, if you think about it, extra 40% healing from each berry just for the trade-off that takes a little bit of time. That's pretty big if you ask me. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. More enemies hidden nearby. Well, ain't, ain't that just swell? Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Well, let's just keep on gathering all these that we can. And then we should be able to get a couple of more. How's our quest progress looking? Should probably be getting pretty far. We're up to 60. Oh man, wait, why are you collecting flax fiber again, bro? Oh, I guess we have an open slot for flax. What the hell did that happen? What did we what did we get rid of? Or, oh, it's just I moved the honey. It's our other inventory, honestly. Oh, Titan. Hello, buddy. You ready to fight? I'm ready to. Let me just start eating some of that. Please give me another weapon. I would not mind this. Not to mention the extra XP of the 100 variety. Ooh, that is a way better hammer than what I am used to. Let's collect what we can. Let's put them gnarly new clothes on and a branch spanking good quality axe. Today's just a great day over here in Starland. I'm a happy camper. Um, why don't we get this animal hide away though? I think we should have an okay amount of that. Was my guy, oh, it looked like he had to puke for a sec there too. Uh, let's get that away. Let's head back to that auto mode keep collecting what we can i think we need let's get two berries up in here get ourselves back to full health and dude, i like there's even just like there's still a solid amount of danger in what we're doing which kind of like low-key i love and uh, i know we're gonna do why don't we why don't we remove this right split that off did i hear something coming at me no i think we're good uh remove that split that off and then let's take things from there get back to the gathering that should get us another 20 so best case scenario maybe there's enough trees here and we can get that 100 worst case though i think we're gonna be barely 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 cut short but even then we're coming really close which is really awesome news and we're collecting some flax and stuff boys it feels good to be back on the productivity grind don't you know what i mean i know what i mean but i said it so i feel like i should know what i mean you know what i mean <laughs> all right let's just keep on getting this we got a couple oh actually there's a hell of a lot of trees over in this section Never mind. I think we're back. I think we're golden again. But we golden, pony boy. We golden. Uh, unless inventory comes into play again, which it probably will. God dang it, Bobby. Um, hmm. We might just be able to. Honestly, I wouldn't. I, I, I could just eat the rest of the berries. I don't think that's too huge of a deal. I do really want the flax, though. I, I actually, our hatchet's about to break here, which should allow us to split off and. There we have it, as long as this axe right here lasts us to the end, the basics are about to be the done quest. Yeah, I think we need like seven more if I'm not mistaken. Mm, I think I see at least three trees, at least nine wood, and at least one brand spanking new completed quest to come in your way and a huge stockpile of wood for us to go back home with and start building up Ooh, like this is a lot of resources guys all right not just for crafting but for base building for tossing into the woodworking bench and honestly we're in pretty deep why don't we go see where the auto collect takes us i think i think our dude's gonna grab a couple of nifty items why why are you not where are you going Oh, to the tree? Why are you not grabbing those berries, dude? I saw you running past those things. All right, well, let's just fill up on the rocks there. Oh, no. Yeah, nah, I'm good. All right, screw it. I'd, I'd say we're looking pretty good here. Uh, let's go ahead and begin the process yet again. Sounds good. Ooh, there's that new location I was talking about. Did we pay a visit there today? How about we go out on an expedition there next time? I think that that might be a better plan. Hopefully we can prepare ourselves a little bit better, maybe level up a bit and actually craft up some solid items. Like, when, when do we learn how to craft a new item? The dagger? Like, we, we do have this... Ooh, we have some pretty good quality on the smith's hammer, actually. I don't know. Let's go home for now, though. Let's claim the quest. Let's see where that takes us. And, uh... Maybe... Depending on what the next quest is, too. You know what would be dope if one of the quests was actually to go to one of these dungeons and just kind of see what's going on? That'd be pretty useful, all things considered, you know, game? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm leaving those trees there, though, for that decorativity. Uh, boom. You don't know. That's where you're going. I expect some planks out of you for next episode. Hello, finished quests. 
feels good to finish you. Let's see what the next quest is, and if it's doable, why don't we go and embark onto it as well. But I hope you guys are able to have a fantastic day. Don't know if I wish that to you guys yet, but I sincerely do wish it upon ye only the most fan for fantastic days for the most fan for fantastic people, aka all of those of y'all participating in this community being subscribed to this channel and checking out this video spoiler alert y'all pretty dope just 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 had to put it out there but okay let's see what do you have for me melting down what can be more fascinating than turning something ordinary into something valuable try smelting some copper ore into precise ingots you'll be surprised how much there is to learn from this trivial experience your friend well if you say so looks like the smelting process uh, must begin and luckily that does not oh this is gonna be a perfect two bird one stone type of scenario check this out the copper ore all we gotta do is get a little bit of copper ore up in here then we just gotta use a little bit of copper ore for the schmelzen and we're gonna be coming out right on top right where we belong let's just kind of split that off split that off that'll give us the six that we require we can honestly also expand the base a little bit here and now we're not going to be like super rushed to expand so we can actually put a lot more of this to good use and hopefully design our base a little bit more than we have been before but that gives us a little bit more room to work with let's craft up the schmelz so welcome to my inventory my dearest of friends oh ho, ho. can't wait to put you down can't wait to begin the smelting process with you let's go ahead and rotate you that way uh do i have any extra copper no but ooh, that looks fancy oh that's actually kind of cool wait do we have to smelt copper oh just copper okay i was going to say if we have to smelt bronze it's a different story because that's going to require us getting tin Ooh, we got to figure out how to get ourselves tin i think boys don't know how that's gonna go uh all right let's close out of there uh we got some rest oh the derp we just did that so i think that's where we would put the tin for example but that's really cool that this is a multiple resource type of smelter already it's not like we need a special one kind of like uh last day on earth does you know this is kind of like the all-in-one which is pretty cool but let's go and grab uh, honestly let's just get 20 because we oh did it say smelt 20 ingots or 20 ore if it's 20 ingots, it might not even be a bad idea. Honestly, it's not even a bad idea for us to get a second schmelter roll. And, and hopefully, we just have the raw amount of uh, copper to hopefully make this happen. Yeah, that should... Ooh, right on the dot, baby. 20 ore plus a stack of 10. That should be more than plenty for that which we seek to do. We just got to go and toss the second schmelter on down. Hello, Mr. Schmelter. Welcome to my base. Hope you enjoy your stay. We'll toss some in there. We'll toss some in stairs. That footsteps I heard? Probably just my own. And I don't know how long the wood will last. So we'll just toss a stack into there. Looks like it's going to take four minutes a pop. We'll toss a stack into there. Should be taking some time as well. And uh, with that, that is probably going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of last, not last day. God dang it, man. For this episode of Grim Soul Survival, I do apologize that I do have to end it off here. But we have been going for a solid amount of time. We did some progress on the quest. And hopefully when we return next episode, there will be 15 ingots awaiting us and some of that wood awaiting us as well so we can start building the stable we can actually start crafting some clothes as well which is going to be huge for protecting ourselves kind of cool if there's actually five armor slots in this game instead of the usual uh what should we call it said the usual four in jurassic survival and last day so that's kind of a cool change hopefully it'll protect us more in the end but uh i think we might end up doing that depending on how many points we get how many quests we can do but definitely i'd like to get the stable started and uh, probably take this hammer take some clothes and say hello to the new dungeon that we unlocked but that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of grim soul survive i sincerely hope that you guys did enjoy if you did make sure the like button make sure you are subscribed and uh make sure to let me know in that comment section down below because i love this series i'm sorry that i'm not posting it more it's just kind of hard sometimes with the school schedule homework schedule now with the uh noise complaint schedule that seems to be happening way too often so uh, i'm really trying to balance the best that i can because i sincerely want to get these videos out to you guys i apologize if i ever come up a little bit short but you know i'm always trying my patootie off for the amazing people no one is you but that's gonna go and wrap it up for me thank you guys all for watching have yourselves an awesome one and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.